summer is here and everything from the price of gas to food is at record level highs. So how can we make the most of summer without breaking the bank? Labor expert and chief innovation and marketing officer at Daily Pay, Jeannie Walden, is here to share some of her tips. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back on the show. We're very excited to have you. So lots of questions, mm -hmm. starting with summer travel. I want to know, you know, with gas prices the way they are, are people traveling as much? And what can we do if we do still want to travel, but with these gas prices the way they are? Yeah, you would think so, but it's actually not the case. Really? We've spent two years of a pandemic. We've had delayed vacations, family reunions, True. weddings. People are dying to get out yeah. and they're not stopping their travel plans yet. Okay. That said, they are starting to reduce them and make some more strategic decisions. Maybe it's two trips this summer okay. instead of three. Maybe I don't go as far as I wanted to. People are going crazy watching for price discounts, both at the pump and on airlines, and you're seeing prices fluctuate in both. Right. So then with everything so expensive right now, how do we really, you know, make the most bang for our buck and enjoy the summer still? Yeah, it's a great question. And it's so funny because what we're seeing are a lot of people are, are relying on saving through their work spend. Meaning oh. they're wanting to stay remote or hybrid longer through the summer okay. so they don't have to buy gas to get into the office and out every day and pay parking as they didn't have to do for the last two sure. years. They're using that money to help buy food, make more investments in family, and summer fun. So I think we're going to continue to see the workplace and employers pay, playing a key role in helping everybody save for the summer and have the best summer they can. So what are your thoughts on like a side job or a second job to help make ends meet right now? Yeah, you know, I saw this incredibly crazy and surprising statistic, at least to me. Yeah. Over 54% of people have some sort of side job. Really? Some sort of side income. And when you wow. look at the gig economy, a lot of companies are making it so simple. DoorDash even lets you sign up as a walking DoorDash driver. So really? if you live in New York City or you live in a place where there's heavy population, you can actually sign up without transportation and make some extra cash. I like that. Okay. So then what can employers do right now to help make things a little bit easier through these types of times? Well, you know, like I said, everyone is relying on their employer to look for cost saving tips, looking for ways that they can make it a little more affordable, bridge sure. the gap. We're seeing over 80% of people even making $250,000 a year yeah. are running out of money in between paydays. Oh so go to your employer, ask them what company benefits exist. A lot of people don't know all the benefits their companies offer, okay. whether it's a pet watching stipend with Urban Sitter or really? childcare yeah. stipend, yes. Huh. Free lunches, whether it's transportation credits, daily pay, where you can get your money as you earn it instead of waiting for that paycheck right. to come in. Free Peloton classes for a year wow. and with your health benefits. So go to your employer. Ask for that employee handbook, okay. find out what there is. If you know someone in your family that's working, ask them to ask their employer because there's a lot of hidden discounts. Wow, I always learn so much. Thank you so much for being with us. So Absolutely. if anybody wants to get more information or follow along, where can we go? Dailypay.com is the best place to go. Amazing. Thank you so much for being with us, Jeannie. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll be right back before you know it.